Lampion's only image record we have was produced by Benjamin Abraal. The whole story started as he was an amateur photographer who lived in Fortaleza and was keen on photography. He would shoot wedding and baptism ceremonies, although he wasn't a professional. His main occupation was owning a haberdashery store, which he gave up to go after his main dream, shooting a documentary about Lampion. So, a German enterprise contacted a small film production company in Fortaleza named Abba Filmes that got in touch with Benjamin Abraão and asked him if he would face the challenge once Lampion was sought by the police of seven states in Brazil. No one was able to shoot him or arrest him as he would easily walk away with strategy. Loaded with a German manufactured 35mm camera, he was able to contact one of Lampion's lieutenants, presenting himself as a director and filmmaker of a documentary on life in the arid countryside of the state of Pernambuco and the everyday life of the banditry, the cangaceiros. Benjamin was an extremely sociable and caring fellow and ended up convincing Lampion that he would enhance his image as a fearless man who fought against social injustice. So he interviewed Lampion and asked him, why does Cangasso exist? What does it mean? For 15 days he filmed the Cangaceiros' everyday life and they played role as requested by the director, simulating attacks showing how they led their war and how they would fight. The two-hour piece was taken by the federal police and remained forgotten in some warehouse for 25 years. Finally, two Brazilian filmmakers discovered it and were able to utilize only 15 minutes of it. Abba Films had an outstanding financial loss as they weren't delivered the product they'd invested money in. Benjamin took this challenge, which might have been the greatest in his life, and for that he paid with his life. E por esse motivo ele inclusive pagou com a própria vida.